Hi, good morning Patricia. My name is Susan. Thank you for contacting us about your book, A Piece of Cake. Um, that's a very intriguing title. What is your book about? Well, um, my book is about my own life. Mm -hmm. Something that I've gone through. My life is full of adventure. Yes. I've seen it all, done it all. And it's just literally about my life. Yes. Yes. Oh, so you were living in Uganda? Yes, I was born in Uganda, in a village, in a very small village. And I just didn't like the idea of living in the village. I just wanted to live in the city. And I could do anything at, at any cost to just go and live in the city. And I decided that one day that I'm going to do that. And here I was, oh. I went to the city. And how old were you? I would say about 13 or 14. Oh. I was very, very young. And I had no money at all. All I had was just a few... Well, in, in comparison to a pound, it was about five pounds oh. at the time. So you got on the bus and you went to the city? Yes, I came on a lorry actually oh. from the farmers that were oh. going to the city. Yes. Yes. And did you know anybody in the city? Not necessarily, but my friend had told me so many different stories oh. and she told me that on a Tuesday there is a nightclub called Silk and she told me that she was always there and stupidly I believed it as a gossip or truth and I went thinking that she was going to be there but thank God she was indeed. She was there and what did she say when she saw you? She was quite amazed yeah. because she didn't expect me to be at that place at that time. She didn't expect, mm -hmm. she, she, mm -hmm. I looked like a ghost to her. And she was like, oh my God. But of course she was happy to see me. Yeah. And did she help you? Was she able to help you? Did she advise you? Well, I've written my book, which I've named A Piece of um, Cake. For one reason, because I want people to see. Now I've got into the city. Mm. I've met my friend. Mm. What happened? It's like yes. a long walk yes. to Netherland. Oh, to Neverland. It yes. was just that kind of thing. But I, I, I wouldn't want to give more because I want somebody to want to read what happened. I would want to know very much. Um, how did you eat? Where did you sleep? How did you get money? Were you working in a nightclub? No, but what, I wasn't working and my friend, weirdly, she was going to um, her A-levels at school. And um, initially, well, she had to sneak me into the hostel and we had no money, that's all you can know. We had to survive somehow, <clears throat> which has all been written yes. in the book. Yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. And... Um, it sounds like, from the title, it sounds like you thought it would be a piece of cake, that it would be easy. Yes, it was. That's, that's why I've actually named it a piece of cake. It may sound very cheesy to somebody. It may sound something very... Um, a piece of cake should be easy. Very easy, easy to somebody. Nice. But why I've named it a piece of cake is because if it wasn't, it would have been a cake. Mm -hmm. Obviously, in life, life to me is like a cake. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got the same piece of cake. You know, everybody's got their piece mm -hmm. of cake. And when I was coming to the city, I thought, oh my God, I'm going to eat this large cake and just sleep in a bed of roses. And it wasn't the case necessarily mm -hmm. at all. It was something totally the opposite of what I expected. I can imagine. At that age, you think that you can do anything and it's a wonderful adventure and nothing bad will happen to you and uh, but i would imagine that you meant that you met good and bad people oh yes oh yes i am a very positive person naturally <coughs> I'm, I'm such an extrovert i get yes. along with so many people which has helped me in the journey yes. and being an extrovert you and my to. temperament is such a sanguine i get along with anybody and everybody yes. i make friends quite easily yes. so that helped me in my journey yes. but it hasn't been very easy it wasn't a smooth path it no. was such a long long drive and full of adventure full of bad things full of bad people at the same time, full of very good people as well. I wouldn't lie if I, I would mm. be 
such a liar to say that I haven't met good people I have. But realistically, life isn't what we would expect. No, yeah. no, it's true, it's mm. true. It's, they say it's something that happens. Because John, was it John Lennon said? Life is something that happens to you while you're imagining something else, while you're thinking of something else. Yes, yes. Um, so, you didn't think about going back to your family? I wouldn't dare because my father was such a tough cookie. He's not the sort of person you play around with. And, and at the same time, I may not have told you I had a daughter in the process. And that was even worse because it was like a curse at the time, having a child at a very young age, not married, mm -hmm. and I wasn't home. My mm -hmm. parents would be very ashamed of me to come back home with a child. So I just knew I couldn't dare. Yeah. And most of it has been written in the book because I tried going back home. I tried and I just knew it wasn't, it was a no-go zone yeah. area for yeah. me. Yeah. Yes. Oh my goodness. So you... Once you started on this path, you had to continue. You just had to go. Yeah. I just had to carry on going. Yeah. Even if I didn't see any light, yeah. I just had to go. It was just me moving. And it's been something that I've done for so many yeah. years. All I've done is just carry on. All yeah. I do is just carry on. Looking back can't help me. No. That's something that I've come to realise with time. As I've grown older as well, that going back is nothing. However, all I do is just walk. Yeah. And the skill that I learned sometimes when things go so bad, I stop yeah. and recalibrate and start again. Because it's the only way, recalibrating, because I lose energy, yes. I lose time, I, I just lose. Sometimes I, I didn't know if I'm coming or going. Yeah. I've reached a stage when I didn't even know how to spell my name because things were so difficult. Yeah. But at the same time, you have got to put on a group and carry yourself through yeah. because it's yeah. the only way yeah. otherwise if you sit there the world won't wait for you unfortunately because it's going yes mm. yes that's true so you would have learned many things along the way yes i did i i i i, I saw mm. pandemonium yeah. in the city that i really wanted to go to yeah. I was in always a state of conundrum. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know who to talk to. I didn't know where to find my next cake. But I just somehow, somewhere, I'm still alive. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm interested to read your book because I'm interested to learn about the char the good and the bad characters, mm. the, the people who helped you, the people who didn't, and the ones in between, the ones in between as well. It's, it's interesting to read about how the world interacts and... Well, a friend of mine some time back told me that everybody's different mm -hmm. and that's what makes the world a very interesting mm -hmm. world. The irony of life is unfair. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't expect everyone to be on your side because, oh, you ran away from home. Hello? No, it doesn't work like that. People have got other things to think about and everybody's got a life to leave and everybody's got their piece of cake. They're trying to eat. Yeah. So you wouldn't expect everybody to be on your side and that's what has carried me through every day. You must be very strong to, to have come through all of this. Well... I come from a very strong um, politic, political family. My father was such a strong man. My mother's such a strong character. And it, it gave us strong... My dad had so many beliefs. He always said certain things as we were growing old. And I saw him make it. I saw him fall. I saw him rise from nothing to something. Then he dropped from something to nothing. So I've seen it all. I, I can tell you, I, I've seen the good, yeah. I have seen the bad, and I believe that the only way, I don't know if God created me like that, or it's just myself, or it's just something that I believe, but I know you've got to be strong, and I am mm. a very strong character, mm. and never let things get to my head. No. If they do, 
it, it's just for a couple of hours and I know that I need to put myself together and carry on. Yeah, you just, you can't. And, and that one thing I believe, because I'm a Christian, if you didn't know, and I always say that it's not how you fall, but how you rise, right. or the end result just justifies the means. You know, people always say, oh, now somebody's falling, but it's not that. I have seen people go down and I've seen them yeah. rise. Yeah. So it's just something that I always believe that this is my life, this is myself. I, I'm not doing it for somebody. I'm not doing it for anybody. So that's why I decided to write my book. I knew it's going to be a little bit controversial. I knew it's going to be a bit confusing. And being that I do not have that many qualifications, I knew people are going to question it. But this is my story. I believe yes. that I wasn't born, yes. lived and died. I believe I've got a story. I believe I can inspire somebody. I believe that I have got something someone can learn from yes. me. Somebody who's done it or somebody who's still doing it or somebody who, who wants to do yeah. it. I've got somebody. I know because I've seen it all pro from two different worlds. Yeah. From Uganda and from England. Yeah. I've both lived yeah. almost half of my life in Uganda and half of my life in England so far. So I've seen it. I have lived with the rich and I've lived with the poor. I have lived with the middle class at the same time. So it's something that I, I know I've got the experience of life and I wouldn't say I am perfect. No, I am just a learning subject. I, am, I just want somebody to use me as their subject to learn. That's what yeah. made me, that's what inspired me into writing my story because I knew I would inspire somebody. I would encourage somebody. I just want to tell somebody that everything is possible. Yes. Okay. And, and now you are working as a carer. Yes, I do. I do. And I've done it for such a long time. I've got so much experience. I've, I've met people from so many different worlds. I've seen the poor, the rich, mm. and the middle class. Mm. The best, I said on Facebook recently that um, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Kawasaki is yeah. one of the best ever written books because I've seen it. I've lived, I've worked for the very wealthy and I've worked for the middle class and I've worked for the rich and I've worked for the poor. It, I've learned so much yeah. and I thank God that it's the job that I do yeah. because it's, it's quite satisfying to me. It's, um, I get a lot of job satisfaction in it and it's well paying for me as well and I'm happy to do it. Mm. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Thank you.